Good morning everybody. I'm going to show you how I make my fox or lynx snares. Uh, my snares, I make them just a little bit bigger than the recommended size. They recommend 7 inches, 7 inch diameter. Mine, I make about 8 inches. And there's a reason for that, so I can I can do some adjustments once I get out in the, in the field where I'm going to be setting my snare. I can easily adjust it to, uh, to whatever size I, I make or I need to once you get your snare pan or trail or whatever it is that you're going to be setting on you can normally look at it and get a feel for what size the snare needs to be and I would rather have my snare just a little bit too big than a little bit too small and reason being if the snare is just a little bit too small a lot of times the animal will walk up to it and, and you can see where the tracks come right up to it and it's almost like they go to put their head through it and then they back out of it but uh, if it's just a little bit bigger then they got more tendency to put their head through the only problem is is if it's too big then you can you might get that neck shot and eh? you might get them around the waist or something and that's never a good thing uh, you always want to go for that desired neck shot so I make it just a little bit bigger than what it needs to be and that's for me and then, <coughs> and then that will give me some some room to adjust or play with it like I said once I get out there and I'm actually setting the, the snare in place right so I have uh, all my stuff I need for making snares for 1 16th which is the size of cable that I use for lynx and fox I have it all in uh, one container all my parts here are all the parts that I'm going to need uh, for my snare uh, other than the cable I got the uh, slim lock, which is on the uh, right on this side here. Then I have a single aluminum swage and then the double aluminum swage. I'll also be using a hammer and a pair of needle nose pliers. And not the hammer for what you think, and the vise. Okay, so now we'll get started. I'll show you how I, how I make my, my snares. I normally start off with the uh, single, single swage first, put it on the end. And then you don't want to uh, have too much wire sticking out of it. If you do, what's going to happen is you're, you're going to snag your fur, right? So you want to get it up just so that a little bit sticks out so that you know you had a good seat on your swage so I'll do that right quick here now just get it in place and make my adjustments once it's into the vise here pull it back to just a touch just a little bit of a stick out. perfect and you don't need to uh, squeeze the living shit out of it but you want to make sure that you got the seat it nice and properly and then you get nothing sticking out of the end of it just a little bit I don't know if you can see that at all all right so then obviously you got to put on your snare lock run it all the way through then back up through okay and then you put on your your double aluminum swage. I'd like to thank everybody that's uh, subscribed to my channel and if you haven't subscribed please do so. It's much appreciated. I know I haven't been very active lately. I've been kind of busy. I only got one night off a week and that's uh, normally Wednesday night. Okay so again now you just want a little bit sticking out the end know that you got a good seat and I just tighten that down you don't have to crush it just but uh, make it so that they won't come out now the cable itself has a natural has a natural uh, bend to it all right and that's going to come into play and I'll show you how because right now if I was to set this snare it would have what I call is a, a tear, teardrop shape, a raindrop, teardrop. 
I don't like that. I like to load my snares. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a natural there's a natural bend to this to this cable. I'm going to make my first bend in this portion right here. Natural bend, 180 degrees to what what it needs to be here. There's a natural bend here. So I'll figure out how that cable sets, and then just take the needle nose pliers and make your bends. So it's going to look something like that when it's finished. Run that back up through. Get it all the way back up through here. And here's what it'll look like then. It's still got that teardrop shape and it's still not loaded, so I'll show you how I load it. Here's where the hammer comes into play. I use the, the wooden part, the wooden part of the handle. Using my thumb, I kind of keep going with the natural curve of that snare and run the cable around it like this and you do that for the first six maybe eight inches of the snare and you got that natural bend to it and then I also do it on on the upper side I know what's the natural bend to it And run that for your first maybe five to seven inches. And then what it ends up with is a snare that's a lot more round. A couple of little bends down here in the bottom to, to get it sitting the way you want. On the top there. You don't want to bend it too much. And now what you got is a naturally round snare. A natural round snare. That's loaded so when you push your head in, boom, it springs shut on them. And for attaching this is just for demonstration purposes, it'll be a lot longer than that, but for attaching the wire to your snare, you just simply uh, put it up, put the, the, the wire up over top of the snare. I don't know if you can see that, I'll back it up a bit. And the wire goes across the top, and then both, both ends comes up through the loop. So it forms, a, it forms a little loop, right? And these are locked together in a loop. And then you can make this this portion here as long as what you need. And that's it. That's quick simple. That's how I make my snares. Thanks for watching. Here this is a glimpse of a, a really fine, really good lotus snare. Okay. Uh, see the bend I got into it? Right here. What happens now this is only rabbit wire. This is, I wouldn't use that to secure my snare. I just use it to keep my fingers away from the end here. But what happens now is when an animal touches the lower part of the snare with his chest, boom, that will slide down and shoots down, really, and 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 keeps the the lock uh, cat it catapults it down the cable, but it keeps it travel with the path of least resistance so here's here's what it looks like if an animal touches it boom it just slammed shut right so the uh, as soon as they step into it boom they're committed that thing closes right down around it's done no getting out of it in because it'll already be past their ears you know to the back of their head and when that happens there's no escape so you just keep working your snare keep working your snare until you get until you get that kind of uh, shape to it you know I and when you got that shape to it like I said it just bang 
it, sh it slams it shut, catapults it shut. And uh, nice, simple, easy way to set your snares for fox and lynx. It's nice to have a load of snares, especially if you're into a pen area. Because a lot of times animals are a little bit more um, crafty, a little bit more cagey. When they're, when they're entering a pen where there's any any food or, or something that's just a little out of place, they're, they really come at it a little bit slower, you know. Uh, the blind trail sets, the, the ones that you set on, on natural funnels and stuff, not so much so because they're sometimes trotting along, moving along, and they're used to putting their head through the different branches and twigs and stuff that's in their, in their pet, so they'll just keep moving along pat at least resistance but uh, when you get near pen sets and stuff like there that's when a load of snare really uh, works good for you you know because it like I said it slams that shut and and that bend the way that bend is it just keeps that it keeps that lock shooting down at a, at a proper angle where it's, it's going to give it the path of least resistance right and that's what it's all about. Hope uh, I hope this helps. Helps. And that's the final segment of how to set or how to make a uh, a fox or link snare or bobcat. Oh, one more point I guess I should tell. Um, the snares themselves, the cable that I use, is 30 inches long. I could get away with 29, maybe uh, 28 and a half inch would, would work perfect. Like I said, I do I do make them a little bit bigger and that gives me a, the opportunity to adjust as I need in the field. But uh, for, for a Fox, 7 inch snare, 7 inch off the ground. So that would be about that high and for and for a uh, a link they say about 10 inches off the ground I try to go in between them both just so that maximize my opportunity whether it's a fox or, or a link if I know there's link there and a, and a good chance to get a link I'll put it a little bit higher but if I'm uncertain of what I might catch I kind of go in between and then maybe with a, a little branch over top just to get them to duck their head not a big branch, just, to, just something to get them to, to go down and through the snare. That's it. Thanks for watching.